Welcome to Airtime with the Airport Explorers Club, brought to you by the Greater Toronto Airports Authority and Toronto Pearson Airport. Good afternoon, Malka. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you, too. Thank you. Scott, what do you do at the airport? Well, it's it's actually a secret, but for you, I'll tell you. So I'm responsible for all the food and beverage, the retail. So all the food and beverage. So you go there for a nice light snack or a drink or something. That, that's part of my portfolio. I look after retail. So if you want to buy a magazine or a watch, I also uh, deal with all the airlines like Air Canada and WestJet. And all those things in the terminal as a, as a passenger you would experience. So going through security and immigration, I work with all those wonderful people to make the airport such a magical place. Cool. Thank you. It is. Are you working for any projects on how to improve the airport? Um, well, that's a great question. And the shorter answer is we do that every single day. We're always trying to improve the experiences for all the passengers that come through the airport and actually to make it a great place to work for the thousands of people that work at Toronto Pearson every single day. And, you know, for example, one of those things we've done over the last couple of years we're really proud of is to work with the government of Canada and this organization called CATSA. And they're responsible for screening passengers so it's safe and secure. We've done a lot of work with them to allow you as a passenger and your family to get through screening much quicker. And so you don't have to wait in, wait in line too long. So you get to relax close to your gate. So we're really proud of the work they've done and really excited about it. I think it's making us a better airport. But that's just one example of many. Wow. <laughs> Do you have any funny stories? Do I have any funny stories? Uh, there's funny stories uh, every day at the airport. There's sad stories every day. Um, I'll, sh I'll share one with you what's kind of um, kind of weird almost. So if you know if you go into an airport, have you been to an airport before? Have you been to Toronto Pearson Airport? I bet you have. Yeah. So, um, you know, sometimes you have to go to the bathroom, right? Yeah. Everybody has to go to the bathroom. So one of the things about airports we always joke about is you can have all the signs up in the airport telling you to go here and go here and this way to the airport. But when people get the airport, they're so stressed, they, they sometimes can't see what's going on around them. So what I do every single day, just to test to uh, test myself, is I'll stand in front of a bathroom, a men's washroom I'll stand in, and it's got a great big sign that says men's bathroom in English and French. And when I do that, and I'll do it for 10 or 15 minutes, five or six people will come up to me and say, excuse me, sir, can you tell me where the men's bathroom is? it's behind me and that happens every single time and the reason i do that is just to really challenge my people how do we better communicate the services that are available available in the airport because it's so big and so busy and so crazy and then people quite frankly um uh, lose sight of what's going on so the more i can relax them and make them feel comfortable and safe and secure uh, they can have a much better experience because travel should be fun. It shouldn't be stressful. And that's what we try to spend our time doing. That's actually really funny that they can't see the sign. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember the first time you went into an airport and what do you remember? Uh, well, that's a good question. So I, a little secret between you and me, I didn't fly until I was a lot older than you. The first time I got in an airplane, I was actually finishing university. I was 21 years old. But, uh, you know, since that time, as I've grown up as an adult and worked in business a lot of years, I've had a chance to travel all over the world. And it's such a remarkably exciting industry, and you meet so many really smart and really interesting people. It's just a, a, a very special place to work. And I certainly encourage you and your friends 
and your classmates to consider it as they you think about your future. But you've got lots of time. Don't uh, don't rush. Take your time. If I wanted to work at the airport, what kind of education or skills would I need? Well, that's that's the million dollar question. And uh, so I have two daughters, and th and this is what I'll say to you, because uh, I've had a lot of experience with this. You can pursue anything you want to do, whether it's aviation, airlines, airports, anything. And there's all kinds of different skills and all kinds of courses you can take. But the one, the one, the one skill you know I would encourage you to think about is what are you passionate about? What do you love to do? And if you want to specifically work in an airport, and quite frankly, if you love people and you want to make people successful and you want to make them happy, and you're interested in helping people, you're going to be just fine. And you'll be a really successful young lady, regardless of the career you pursue. Wow. But that's hard. But that's hard, though. Right? So be true to yourself. Follow your dreams. Don't follow somebody else's dreams. Do what you want to do. God, I'll keep that in mind. Well, well done. One last question. What do you want everyone to know about the airport? What do I want everyone to know about the airport? So what I want people to know about is that 50,000 people work at Toronto Pearson. And they, exactly, it's like a small city. And the most important thing people should know is all those 50,000, they believe very much in the passengers that come through there. They're very passionate. Remember we talked about being passionate for people? They believe on creating an experience that's great for you, for your family, and your friends, and everybody transit through there. It's a big, giant family. We have our disagreements, and we don't always do things right. We make mistakes, but I want to leave you with, a, uh, with this final thought that they want to be successful, and they know they can get better, and they're committed to get better, and they want to make Toronto Pearson the number one airport in the world so that all Canadians from coast to coast to coast can be so very proud of them. And that's a commitment that I can make to you that we're on that journey to get better together. And having someone like you ask us these questions makes us better as well. So thank you very much for that. Well, I think those people who work there are doing a good job so far. Well, tell them that. That's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for joining us, Scott. This is Malka for the Airport Explorers Club over in out. Ten four copy. <laughs> Want to learn more about airports and aviation? Go to airportexplorer.club. And don't forget to check this channel for more videos.